बस्तर area of chatisgarh and then in indore sony is famous for anything specific sir for the cement uh, cement industries i have heard mostly and uh, nearby it there are tribal regions also and tribals are there in the forest also yes sir the, the forest. forest yes sir have you seen some forest anywhere no sir i am not no? in the forest no sir lp do we have forest in lp yes sir we yeah. have the we never went to any forest area sir i could never have the opportunity to visit any forest yes. area we block the space and uh, very difficult to go here and there uh, it uh, becomes uh, uh, this habitat for uh, criminal activities also why what's the need for having forest sir um forests are the natural ecosystems of the earth and uh, if life has to exist on earth it is not only the humans and the development activities that we are doing but we also need nature the mother earth who has given life to all these uh, activities and in fact humans so forests are essential because they are also called as lungs of the earth so we cut forest and wherever we want we put plant trees agriculture that will be enough sir um the forests that we have are somewhere around hundreds to hundreds of years old and uh, the trees which the if the forests are cut and the trees if we would plant then sir it would take another 100 to 200 years to grow so by then sir all the carbon dioxide that comes on to the earth would not be absorbed back since these act as major carbon sinks okay you know last uh, one or two weeks main headlines in your madhya pradesh newspapers sir um an unfortunate uh, incident has happened on the occasion of ram navmi which was uh, because of the communal uh, violence that got flared up during the procession mm. um and sir apart from this uh, also that uh, madhya pradesh has uh, contributed uh, extensively in the wheat production to the central uh, government no tell me something about that uh, incident happened and what government did and sir um, after the communal violence which took place uh, the alleged uh, rioters who were there they were uh, arrested under the due process of law and uh, probe has been initiated into the same and the sir the government has um, also uh, raised the houses of and the properties the illegal evacuation uh, illegal encroachment which were done illegal uh, encroachments raised legally or illegally i am not sure if the notice period was served to them uh, but if uh, notice period was served and then the encro- uh, the uh, uh, the bulldozers were raised then it was probably legal So who decides whether this is legal this construction is legal or illegal who decides that sir uh, if a property or a construction belongs to me then i should possess the relevant uh, land records and documents and if i am able to furnish that it is probably legal mm-hmm. um, so it is the district uh, authorities and the district uh, pe- uh, people who are in charge of seeing the land records i think two days back hanuman jayanti was there Yes sir. Hmm? What has been done in Hanuman Jayanti? Something some inaugurations were done. Sir um I'm sorry regarding the inaugurations I'm not aware. Achha. Okay see we have lot of international conventions treaties yes, where sir. the countries become parties. Mm-hmm. Hmm? So that treaties they are it means uh, like India has become uh, party to many treaties and conventions. Mm-hmm. 
So it means once we become party, we sign, it comes into force. We are bound to implement it in our country or, or anything else is required. Sir, uh, we need a parliament uh, ratification also if we want to implement those international treaties that we have signed. So okay, parliament ratification is okay. After that, we can do that. Sir, after that, uh, also, sir, states' uh, concurrence is also needed uh, in a particular Okay, that state. is also got then. Sir, um, then probably we, we can, sir. So, there is no me. need of any corresponding domestic law? Sir, if a law um, already is in place, then it is uh, okay. Otherwise, sir, uh, we will need to make a law. Yes, sir. Without law, we cannot yes, sir. implement? Yes, sir. Yes, hmm? sir. We will need to make. Okay. Punjab, you know, you are uh, tracking the developments in Punjab? Yes, sir. What is the recent one? Um, so, the newly elected government has announced for the free electricity to the people of Punjab. From when? Since uh, From which sir, date? From uh, July 1, they hmm. have announced. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, something else also? Some jobs and all? Sir, I, I read about the electricity uh, part. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, WHO is telling that reporting of uh, deaths due to COVID in India mm -hmm. has not been on, uh, done honestly. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, I have read uh, some news articles that uh, in which it has been uh, said that uh, probably the number of deaths have been underestimated in India. Mm. Uh, sir, um, I think it's uh, primarily because uh, number one, when COVID struck, uh, we were not at all prepared and uh, the, the, the deaths that occurred, we could not uh, clearly identify or demarcate whether it was due to COVID or some other uh, comorbidities. Uh, and sir, secondly, uh, during the second wave also, which was very lethal, uh, it was uh, difficult to uh, actually pinpoint. However, sir, there have been lapses also where we could not actually report. The actual reporting was not done. Okay, thank you. So, Anjali. Yes, sir. Uh, no, you have kept Northeast zone as the fifth preference. Yes, sir. Why? You don't want to work in a challenging area? Sir, um, I would be uh, very happy to serve in any zone and any cadre I am allotted to. Uh, since there was a preference that I had to choose, so I went ahead with that. Okay, no problem. You are a uh, computer science graduate. Yes. Right. Uh, Web3 is a term which is there in news. Have you heard of it? I'm sorry, sir. I'll have to look into it. Okay, all right. What is a NFT? Sir, um, NFT is a non-fungible token and uh, it is based on a blockchain technology. So, under this, basically, uh, what happens is that uh, if I want to... Uh, uh, say let's say there's a piece of art a dig uh, so i will there will be a digital art or a digital copy of my original piece and anybody who wants to purchase it uh, can do so and they will be having that digital copy and the original copy would be with me so in this way uh, it would be secure and duplication cannot be done okay all right uh, does india have any cyber security policy Yes, sir. So we have a national cyber security policy of 2013 and uh, it was released by the Ministry of Electronics and IT under which uh, there are cyber uh, police cells and also cyber professional. We are talking of training of around 5 lakh uh, cyber uh, professionals in the country and imparting cyber literacy. Okay. Uh, now there has been an increasing incidences of cyber crimes. Yes, sir. Do you think the uh, police personnel are well equipped to fight such crimes? Sir, um, considering that cyber crimes are the new age crimes, uh, I believe we have the potential but still uh, the training part of the police professionals is still lacking uh, because of which uh, the tracing of the crime and the people involved in it has become difficult. So uh, that is one area and so secondly, uh, the crimes are also now uh, being done through dark web and dark net and uh, these are those areas where uh, we need extensive uh, research and development also 
so that is also somewhere uh, missing in the country since we only spend around uh, 0.7% of our gdp into research so in that also sir we need to work don't you think we should have se uh, separate computer science posts now in police at least in every district one or two do you think it's it will be a good idea sir i think it can be uh, thought of we can have uh, certain posts uh, technical specially posts for uh, computer science graduates and it might help the police in investigation further okay all right uh, tell me something about bone paintings sir uh, bones are the tribals who reside in madhya pradesh and chatisgarh and andhra pradesh regions and uh, these are the tribal paintings done by these people uh in which uh, they make various motifs and since tribal people are very very connected to the nature so the motifs also in these paintings are related to the nature itself like the mahua trees and uh, the flora and the fauna of the region and through these paintings they try to depict the interdependence and interrelationship of the people uh, and the nature okay. any other similar tribal painting styles from madhya pradesh sir in madhya pradesh there is pithora paintings also which are done by the pithora tribes and uh, so okay anyway. you also it. follow tennis yes sir there was a huge controversy of uh, djokovic uh, with regard to australian open yes sir so uh, who do you think was correct djokovic or the australian government sir um if i have to look at uh, Australian government was correct in the sense that since it's a government it is their duty to make the people and the citizens aware regarding vaccination so they debarred him from playing so it set a precedent that vaccination is important while from an individual's perspective uh, i think personally he made a personal choice uh, that he didn't wanted to get vaccinated and since he was following all the covid protocols and he was uh, not involved with other people so sir i think both were uh, right in their respective domains but finally you have to give your opinion and final judgment what would it be sir i would say that considering the larger good of the people um, the decision of australian government was right that uh, vaccination has to be done okay all right but he also lied about his uh, positive certificate and all i'm sorry sir i okay. i couldn't Anyways. read that okay uh now many of the state governments i think madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh they are using gunda act or some sort of similar act to raise the houses of the alleged writers yes do you think it is right sir um from what i see there are uh, two issues which are involved here one are the writers and one is the raising of their properties uh so if we consider about the rioters and people who cause violence and damage to the public property uh strict action needs to be taken against them according to the rule of law um and sir uh if the properties are raised then that should be done if there is any illegal uh construction which is being done or an illegal encroachment that has been done by serving a proper notice and uh, giving the concerned people also a chance uh, to appear before Uh, however sir both these things are happening simultaneously so uh, it is getting somewhere connected that uh, there are some vested interest uh, but if we follow the right procedure i think sir uh, this issue can be tackled okay there is high attrition in the it industry can you tell me why sir if i may uh, clarify uh, attrition is the increasing uh, no people leaving the jobs and switching the jobs so in the software industry i think it's a very uh, dynamic uh, sector so it's growing every day technology as we know it's it's changing every hour and every second so people are also getting skilled and they are finding more relevant and more uh, better jobs than the previous ones so we are seeing a switch over um, while there are some people who are also leaving these jobs uh, probably because of the brain drain that is happening from uh, our country to the other countries because of uh, better opportunities and jobs okay last question uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses so i'll start with my strengths first um, i think i'm a very calm and a composed person 
and uh, I'm also very patient uh, in listening to others' viewpoints, uh, especially the adverse ones. Um, and so thirdly, I think um, I'm very much driven by my uh, perseverance and my grit. I have a never give up attitude towards the challenges. And sir, um, regarding the weakness, I would say that um, since I come from Indore, so uh, I am a foodie uh, because of which I tend to gain weight and then I have to lose it. Uh, and sir, secondly, I also tend to work for long hours that uh, leads to exhaustion sometimes. So these two. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Anjali, uh, when we talk about Indore, the first thing that comes to my mind is cleanliness. Yes, sir. What are the other things that Indore is famous for? Sir, apart from cleanliness, um, Indore has been historically the presidency of the Holkars. Uh, uh, Devi Ahilya Bai Holkarji is said to have associated with Indore and she has immensely contributed in the field of temples, art and architecture. Uh, also, the temple town of Maheshwar is very famous for uh, Maheshwari and uh, Chanderi sadis in Indore. Uh, sir, uh, speaking about the food, uh, it is the street food capital of the country and uh, there are lots of varieties of food like uh, jalebi and uh, poha and uh, jalebi is the staple diet. And sir, it's also emerging as the financial capital and uh, the software uh, hub of the MP also. So, these three things. In a unicorns based out of Indore? Sir, I'm not aware of if, if there okay. are any. Uh, you are constantly reading about chip shortage. Yes, sir. How is this affecting the computer industry? Sir, the um, chips are the most important part of any electronic device and uh, for their proper functioning, it is very, very important to uh, we have chips and because of the COVID supply chain disruptions, the uh, chip shortages have been felt. Sir, uh, with respect to the computer industry, I think um, one is that uh, the IT industry during the time of uh, COVID, uh, there were certain layoffs which were done. Uh, so this I can only think of okay. uh, these. Um, you're familiar with the news of Infosys existing Russian market? Sir, I read about it, yes. Can you tell me about, what do you know about Infosys uh, exiting uh, Russian market? Infosys, sir, particularly in the Russian market? Russian market. This sir, is in the context, uh, in news in the context of UK also. Yes, sir. Sir, I am um, aware that um, the son-in-law of uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy owns the Infosys as uh, their current finance uh, minister, uh, Rishi Sunak. And, uh, sir, I have read about that they have exited, but the exact reasons uh, I am not really sure of. Okay. Uh, India is a global powerhouse in terms of software. But uh, despite of having uh, such a large uh, human resource, we have not been able to do well in uh, the manufacturing of uh, technological devices. Why, why, what do you think is missing out here? Sir, um, I think that uh, our manufacturing has been lacking because uh, once our research and development that we need is uh, low, we do have the manpower, uh, but the skills which are needed uh, so that is lacking. Uh, there's only 5% of the population in India which is uh, skilled as compared to 70 to 80% in the developed world. Um, and so secondly, manufacturing sector in India is something which has to pick up. Uh, it's only like around 16% of our GDP and we have been targeting 25% but uh, still we are short of that mark. So we have to focus on that. And so we are rightly doing also like the PLI scheme that we have come up with is also targeting the manufacturing sector. You won a national level in the school essay writing competition. Yes. Sir. What was the topic on? Um, sir, it was uh, on the women uh, empowerment. It was in Hindi, Mahila, uh, Mahila Se Shakti Karan. What are the three major impediments towards uh, women's empowerment in the country? Sir, um, first I would say is the mindset of the people. Uh, that is, uh, patriarchal in the society that a uh, women or a girl child is inferior to the male. So second impediment I would say is uh, their education. Without a proper education, we cannot expect the empowerment of a woman because she would not be then financially independent. 
and sir uh, the third impediment i would say is the crimes and the violence against the women uh, especially during the pandemic we saw that it was a shadow pandemic where a lot of violence was against the women so safety and security is also one issue in wand painting uh, what type of colors do you use and what is the material used for uh, these colors traditionally sir um, traditionally it was the natural colors like uh, for brown they used the soil and for uh, black color charcoal was used for green the leaves were used uh, but since these have also evolved over time so now uh, there are poster colors acrylic and all types of colors like oil colors water colors any medium of uh, color is now being used by the painters how is the gown painting being promoted what steps are being taken to promote gown painting sir um firstly these are popularized through the museum there is a museum also uh, uh, in bhopal uh, in which these gown paintings are uh, published and uh, they are showcased and so secondly the trifed which is the um, under the ministry of tribal affairs that has been very active in imparting the skills and providing the painters with the proper equipments to do these paintings uh, and connecting them to the e-commerce sites like amazon and sir thirdly uh, they have actually got a lot of international recognition because these paintings were also showcased in the cop 25 which was held in madrid so government is very active sir in fact in delhi also uh, in lodi colony these paintings have been painted on the walls of the streets <clears throat> yeah, you are just telling the impediment in empowerment of women mindset of the people when you say mindset of the people include only males or females also sir i would say the females also can you uh, give me example how sir um for example uh, if uh, a violence is uh, a con- co- committed against a woman she accepts it because she thinks that it is normal and uh, one or two slaps or any kind of uh, physical abuse is okay because she is a woman so somewhere that internalization of patriarchy also has been one reason why women empowerment is lacking it's not only that sometimes you know uh, mother grandmother also yes. they what they want they want only boy they don't want yes. a girl child why she should be studying yes, huh? she has to be ultimately get married and yes. go from this so that mindset is also there yes sir. Mm-hmm. That is also.